Giving teens a fresh start, Anne Arundel County is one of the only programs in the country aimed at diverting young people away from the juvenile justice system before they're arrested. It's not just about helping them the short term, but more importantly about laying the groundwork for their future. And joining us now is Fresh Start Program Manager, Ms. Tamika Perkins, and also Corporal Michelle LeVere joining us out there in Anne Arundel County. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Listen, I, I love this program because Fresh Start is all about what the title is, Fresh Start, a second chance for young people. Just give us a little flavor of what it's all about. Um, so this is one of the nation's only pre-arrest um, diversion programs. So anytime um, a youth is uh, caught by law enforcement for an eligible offense, um, they're referred to us instead of having a citation issued or an arrest made. Um, and once they're with us, we meet with them as a team of sworn and civilian um, employees, and we get to the heart of why they are um, engaging in these behaviors. And then we work together with them, their families, the schools, to create a plan as to how we can get them back on track and meet whatever needs um, may be prompting the issue. And Corporal, part of getting back on track is making sure that they get the second chance without a criminal record. And I, and I hope that you can understand or at least explain to young people that that's not just at the time of the arrest. The, the record follows you. Right. That record follows you. It's not like in years before where, you know, everything was on paper. And, you know, once you turned 18, you know, your record and, you know, any subsequent things were gone, you know, put in a shredder, essentially. Um, with the way that the background checks are now, you know, they're going back to age seven for federal um, and age 11 here in the county. And we don't want them to have those collateral consequences uh, for the rest of their lives, essentially. Part of this is about creating a relationship, a partnership, I think, at least so that people on the street and people in uniform can start this back and forth. One, I think it helps to, to decrease crime, but also I think it's important to have to have that relationship. How hard has it been? at least from your perspective, to create the relationship? And what do you have to do here? It, it's, it's been difficult, um, but I think that everybody has an interest in working together. If, if Honestly, if it's not just for the young people, just you know, building better relationships, period, um, whether it's law enforcement, the community, and us just coming together uh, to solve these problems. So, I mean, it's been difficult um, in light of some of the recent events, but it's definitely something that everybody has an interest in and going forward. it's. I think one thing that um, the START program provides is in that initial intake meeting, it's an opportunity for everyone to put everything on the table. Um, so you have kids who say, I don't want to participate in this program um, because I'm, you know, of how I feel about law enforcement. And so it gives an opportunity for you to build that relationship and you kind of see the light that comes on um, in that meeting and you see that wall kind of fall down. Um, and I think that's the most powerful uh, part of that conversation. You see that wall come down, you know that you're having a meaningful impact. And I think that's what keeps us going um, in this work. To be meaningful and powerful, I'm guessing that this just can't be a one time that you meet with a young person. This is a full on mentorship. Oh. And I'm, it, 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 why is that so important that it's continuous? Um, youth need consistency. Um, they, we know that one caring adult, all the science shows us that one caring adult is how we combat trauma. It's how we come back from um, these sort of mistakes. And we can provide that consistency and that mentorship. So the initial meeting um, does occur with a larger team. Um, and then it's not just uh, Corporal LeVere and, and myself that are involved in this program. This is a, a countywide um, we have representatives and mentors at every single police district, as well as specialized units in all ranks um, that have taken an interest in these youth and are willing to to s interact with them um, in the evenings um, or stop by at school and say, hey, how are you doing? Making sure that they're staying on top of their grades, making sure that if they are having a bad day, that there's always someone that they can reach out to. I think we have about a minute left and I'm curious about success stories. I'm sure at some point some kid has said something back to you like this has helped me or this saved my life or whatever. I'm curious of, of what they've said back to you after going through it for a little bit so far. Um, I think our, our biggest success stories come in the, uh, this May where some kids who were about to drop out of school will graduate. So we're looking uh, forward to going to every graduation in the sure. county. Um, and then one of our uh, kids just got his first job uh, and we helped him through the application process. And, and that's why we do it.
I can tell by the smiles that you're pleased with what you're doing, and I know the folks out here in the community are pleased as well. That's Tamika Perkins as Corporal Michelle LeVere. Thank you both for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Certainly.